let's uh let's try this again. <laughs> New game. Um I'm debating if I should put it in Japanese. I've never heard the Japanese voices before. English, yeah. What the heck happened to me? Okay, it's my Twitch thing's being off. It says I'm not like nothing's happening. Man, this is like the worst I think it's been. <laughs> oh my, uh... Okay. What? Okay, I don't know what is going on. Logic, action. Uh... Yeah. I have played this before. I have 62 hours in this actually. So I know what's gonna happen, but it, it's a good game regardless. I won't spoil anything. Just in case if anyone hasn't seen or played this. Just in case. But there is blood, gore, torture, you know, that kind of fun stuff. Kind of depression, I believe, as well, so. Just watch out for that. I don't think that's going off the people who made this. They made it amazing. Yeah, I can't. Best visual novel music. No doubt. And yes, this counts as a visual novel, at least in my eyes. I don't know why he doesn't laugh at the end. You at least want to hear him suddenly. Here we go. The massive high school towers all over the buildings in this bustling urban area. Oh, wait, yeah. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. I'm doing Makoto. Oh, sorry. I'm doing the main character as my voice. Host Peak Academy. Brings in the top students from every field imaginable. A government funded school of privilege. They say if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend for this school. One, you have to already be attending the high school. I think I just said that. <laughs> Whoops. Hi, baby! Hi! The music is still loud. I'm sorry, my stupid disco didn't tell me you were alive. You're all set. Don't worry about it. You didn't miss much anyways. Uh, also, in short, there was a game that I wanted to play called Not. And it wouldn't let me play it. <laughs> it completely broke my computer, I think. Oh, your past quest is fucking cute. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, that completely broke on me. <laughs> so that was fun. So now I'm just playing something that will hurt my throat. <laughs> also, baby, I reached 100 followers! Yeah. <laughs> I reached 100 followers. <laughs> oh yeah, Twitch mods. I uh, I reached 100 followers on Twitch. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I said my sappy stuff. I think you can still see it my other, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I keep forgetting that enter. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way is the only way is I can't speak. I'm trying to rechat. The only way in is if you're scattered by the school itself. <laughs> Welcome back, Solus. 
and standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. It's further, but... Farther. It's so weird to hear him say that. Hi, Makoto. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the upside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going on for me when it comes to gra grades. Grades. Oh, but going on for grades, eh? To grades. Special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I have a psychic or a mute or whatever. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they all just be whatever the most popular and the most at the particular moment. You were among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's a good, it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if kind of some kind of strong point, so to speak. I'd say I'm a little more gun ho gun ho than other people. I mean, look at me. Completely ordinary. But still, here I am, standing in front of anything but ordinary High Hope Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me could survive in a place like this. I got this other woman presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Jack, Hope Peak Academy only invites those who are in truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic that there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I locked up some of those threads. Locked up, not locked up. I didn't put them anywhere. That sounds that sounds very bad. <laughs> Whoa! And I saw I was talking about the ultimate students, who are uh, way beyond your average high school schooler. For example, one upcoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's always led, who's a lead singer for a pop group famous for all over the country. And there's the ultimate baseball player, it's baseball star. Why did I get player from? He was a cleanup hitter for the natural uh, high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. It's weird there's no sound effects. There's the ultimate fashionista. I get it. There's comics. Not comics, just magazines. She's been on the cover on tons of magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gains everyone love the guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swim pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and some... reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. There were those ultimate students. I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, about, about then, but then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I don't have much in the way of personality. But beyond that, there's even a bigger issue. How does such an unbelievably average student like me get picked on the, to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the accepted letters to send me to see why. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected, and we invite you to join us as the ultimate, lu as the ultimate lucky student. They spell out the plane this day. I got invited by pure luck. 
honestly, I probably would never have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I couldn't just say no. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down to the acceptance letter I clutched into my hand. It said there would be a meeting of all coming students in the main hall at 8am. The meeting still isn't for a while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this! I got up on my determination to try to act like I've done this a million times before. And I took my first step towards the main hall. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's it says it's 7 10 a.m. I mean it's a start till 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. Heck, says nobody else will be here yet. I was so wound up. I got here way too early. I had plenty of time from the meeting. Just standing around, waiting, that isn't exactly that I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? That helped me kill some time, if nothing else. I'm trying to play it cool. I took my first step into the host Beak Academy. That's my first step towards starting a new life in a new school. At least, that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, what the? But the instant I took the first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away in a mixture together into something else. Spinning, mixing, mixing. <laughs> What's that mean? Melting away, then spinning again. And then the next moment, everything went black. See, this is why you don't drink, kids. This is why you don't drink, <laughs> comma, kids. <laughs> this is how I all began and how life I knew has came to an end at, at that point I should have realized the reason why I brought the home sweet cami was because I had the ultimate good luck so I could experience ultimate despair <sighs> creepy welcome to despair high school just like regular high school yeah I don't really care <laughs> oh, that's the face he's making. Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on the top of the hardwood desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off, <laughs> zonk, in the middle of the some boring class or whatever. But what was I doing to sleep here just now? This isn't the class I've be ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Here we go. We don't need to read this. Uh, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. I, I know how to play. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can see this line of drool I must have left there. I have to clean up later. Hey, what's this on the desk? An orientation guide? some kind of cheap looking pamphlet and there's something handwritten on it the next semester is about to start starting today this school will be your entire world what the hell is this someone's idea of a joke uh, i'm sorry to tell you but no what the heck it ain't over classroom that's where the window should be it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it they for it to lock, knock on it Yep, definitely metal. Thick, too. Very solid. <laughs> nice. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are the metal plates over the windows? Uh, I don't know. Could be throwing a surprise party. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world to be living. I guess they have to keep these weirdos from just wandering in. 
Uh, let's... Oh. I thought we read the actual board. No, it's just a TV. There's a TV. The school is funded by the natural government, so I guess it's not weird to have TVs in here. Something feels... off. I wonder what it is. That doesn't matter. I better look around the classroom a little more before I head out. What am I missing? The clock? Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall. And then someone carried me here? If that's true, it must mean that this classroom inside Holt's Peak. But if that's true, then that raises even more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates cover up the windows. It's like there's a prison or something. None of this makes sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students here now. Hey, let's leave. I forgot how weird this controls. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well... For now, I'll just head to the main hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right off the map, and then you can have fun. Wait, no, I need to go over here, right? Is it this way? By the time I get back to the main hall, Everyone else was here, already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me with the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who had gathered here, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel some kind of aura coming from each of them. Now it's time to get introduced by them. Oh, um, how's it going? My name's Mako Makoto Nagi. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden, I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? Hmm. Things are getting... Getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Listen to me! Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you are aware the meeting was started at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you. And you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. You didn't have to control over it. That's right. Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all just go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? There's no time for freaking introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but it'd be a good to at least find out who we are. If we all are before digging into bigger problems here. I mean... How are we are supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Um... Okay. So let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to wherever else. Sounds good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's just best if we focus on to get to know each other for now. My voice is cracking. This is not good. So I guess this is a good chance I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up on the Hope She Academy thread online, but... I still really don't know what kind of people they actually are. <clears throat> Time to find out. I'll start by talking to the file over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, hold on. Nope, I can't. Let's go to the line. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Nice to meet you. Kiyotaka. Love you, man. So that's Kyo Kyotaka, according to what I said about him in the thread. He went to the famous private school and won top honors each year. He's basically a full as honor student. Also known for the work he's done for this community public morals community. 
He said he respects rules all above else, earning him the title of the ultimate moral compass. Hmm. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Rakuto Nayagi, right? <laughs> That's a good name! A strong name! You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name! You hear me? And keep that name from losing its value! You must devote yourself every single day! Got it! Life is worth putting every ounce of into it! Right? Right! This guy is kind of annoying. <laughs> Fair enough. Not that you'll remember my new name anyway, but... I'm... Toko. Toko Fukawa. Toko, my girl. Love her. <laughs> yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literacy career. Literal career. What the hell? Lever what am I talking about? <laughs> Two years ago when she released Soul Lingers the Ocean, a love story that said to her a masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot the top of the hottest men pole. <laughs> Despite her age, she won countless literally, literary, I can't speak, prizes, and all her books are instant books bestsellers. Which is why she come to notice the ultimate mighty prodigy. Why else could you call such a young, talented author? But I figure she's a lovey-dovey type, with our masterpiece with being a romance and all. <laughs> What's your problem? What? It's not place to stare, you know. <gasps> Stop What's staring! It looks like a filthy creature! Filthy creature? No, I just thought. I know what you just thought. You thought you'd never seen an ugly woman. You just thought it'd be so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling Don't you. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you know I can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Whatever. I don't care. I'm used to it. Wow, talk about a very complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. Hi. I look forward to getting to know you. You as well. Really? The way she moves him possibly mesmerizing. And that pleasant scent. I can't quite place. Sayako Maizono. When I saw her name in the thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She was the pop group famous all across. She was a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's the lead the singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high, school, high demand and appear on TV and magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find her she'd be going to this school. She doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. That's a weird comparison. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Hey, uh... By any chance... Now what? Huh? Yeah, he must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Mikado did... Just hold on. Jeez, you guys. How long is the plan to waste a valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Sorry, just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self introductions are for introducing yourself, not bubbling through a bunch of idle chit chat. Um, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We'll talk about this later. It's not like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. It's not like we really see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Hi, Leon. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Yo! Leon's just my sonic voice. <laughs> I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as the cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. It's the superb athlete specimen there is. You? Seriously? Huh? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing, I'm just surprised. I figured with you would be the ultimate baseball star. Give me a break. What? What do you expect is some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I expect you more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional space but baby space ball. Space jam. Baseball player type. I mean when I found the article, a picture of you online, that's how you look then. <laughs> what? Oh man. You found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? 
I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not, what the crap? <laughs> this is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously. I'm like mega bears right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shave your head like it's part of the... Shave your head like it's that... Like, uh, shave your head like it's part of the natural championship regulations. I mean, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair. I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be honest with you? You know, I don't like baseball. Like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced, and he's still his team star player? I'm so kind of proud of you. Yeah! Then as soon as I accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path of life is getting into music. You can feel the star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. So I'll need a songwriter and someone on guitar and we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me is chasing my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I don't imagine I hear something from a from a form of a baseball star form. But here we are, the worst character in this entire I thing. am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. No one's calling me that. <laughs> Hmm. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> you know, in that world, I, was, I am well known as a purely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them don't get it, of course. Say I'd be tainted by event. How stupid can you be? He does that voice a lot. <laughs> That's why I did the. It's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies is like a definite, pretty remarkable. However, the world of such idiots means nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier, serving 90 days to destroy all mindless precautions about fan fiction. I'm sure you would deserve my work, Mr. Nagy. You want to comprehend the greatness Im immediately. Mm hmm. But my work is filled with deepest meaning. I stare everywhere. <laughs> what? What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basic urges. I don't think I want to cover your head. Okay, now I talk to the five people over here. Hey, ya! I'm Aoi Asahina. Aoi. But my friends just call me Hina. What's up? Hi, Hina. Hi. Ari Hashina, Hashina, Ashahina. There we go. She's been breaking records every, in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She even chose an upcoming electric candidate. She is. Oh, candidate. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swing pro. The combination of ability, appearance, and um, proportions have been widely discussed online. Mm. Poor girl. So, uh, what's your name again? Sorry, I totally forgot. Akoto Nayagi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, it's not something like that. It is that. <laughs> you got it. Sure, sure, got it. I'll have it in my brain right now. Yeah. Akoto Nayagi. Akoto Nayagi. She was like repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hands three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Mm. Hey, uh, by the way. How do you spell your last name? Spelled exactly how it sounds. Mm. <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just have to figure out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is just totally easy going and bursting with energy. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Hello, Chihiro. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Just to meet you too. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but... Have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met the first time. This is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Shiro Fujitsuki, Fuji Sake, Sake, sorry, I'm really bad with last names in this, is known for the cutting edge program she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She also got them timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to a legion of fans. Um. Hey, so, listen. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm really sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for now? Um. Well, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, I had nothing. That had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> hey, that's good. I was afraid you didn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Hmm. I'm starting to understand why your fans are so into her. Um, can I ask her name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Hello, Kyoko. find out what her ultimate is later. She's pretty light-lipped, huh? Oh, but, you know, her name doesn't show up anywhere. High school pink had me thread. And I didn't see her see that there were students like me. Ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Would this girl be the one of them? Um, so, what are you doing in this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I'm a, no I just meant... And then inviting here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So that ultimate something... So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you. So I'm not going to. Not that I'm about to turn up a line. So I'm just thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. She doesn't want to tell me anything. No point of asking Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Charmed, I'm sure. Anybody will recognize this one. She has been charmed in presence in any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like it doesn't quite match up to the reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk. So they aren't real. What can we do? Come on. Don't act so surprised. You're going to make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you're probably totally blown by, by a way about certain dangers of little diva of ours. <laughs> they make eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin to look all semantic and porcelain. Oh, so many dreams are getting crushed today. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Nice to meet you too. Fun fact, this voice actor, English voice actor, is also an English voice actor for Genshin Impact. I just thought it was a neat fact. Mondo Awada, huh? Which means... He's the current leader of the largest bar game in Japan. He earned respect, even awe, from every game in the country. He's the ultimate biker lead game leader. I buy one leader game. Um... Nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. I have to be careful around it. On one word, I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Four over there, the only ones left. Here we go. I am Sakura Okami. Hello, Sakura. She's great, too. Oh, jeez. I was active if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I turn into a human meatball. But now I remember. She competed in the martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That threat also said a bit more about her. Some call her an ogre. Some even think of her as the closest relative to primates, the famed missing link. That's just mean. That's really mean. 
any incoming Hall Street Academy student who are reading this, I will warn you right now. We value your life, avoid it at all costs. It's so mean. You're being mean for no reason. Stay in front of her now. I don't think they're exaggerating about that. Hey! Hey! You! Huh? Yes? I snapped his attention without realizing it. She started poking a prod my body. Um, what are you- I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. Hmm. What a shame. You do not at all fit to fit my acting- act my trainee partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Oh boy. Name's Byakuya Togami. Well, okay. <laughs> didn't even tell me. Um, hi. Nice to meet you. This is the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. I don't realize how much I think I do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Yakuga Togami. He's the heir of the apparent, apparent of his uh, family, massive family's massive financial conglomerate. He's also started managing business operations, and his own personal assets are well vast. His title of ultimate affluent prodigy. Prodigy, I don't know how to say that. It's completely accurate. He's a definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from the Hotz P. Kami thread online. Come on. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. This aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level like a kingdom training. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Hi, Yasuhiro. Love this guy. Keep waving to them. <laughs> Yashihiro Hakagaru, ha Hakakura. Yashihiro Hakakura, known as Supernova, is a psychic community, which had setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all the fortune telling stuff, it's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be. Uh, okay, I give up. Huh? What happened? We're serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after a Bigfoot running off a ski skyfish in the mouth. And the guardian angel is your angel guardian. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis like, sometime and get some real deep into Lemuria and its uh, civilization. What? We are not even allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times. See, and, uh, well, it's a long story. A few times? I bet that is a long time. A long story. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Hello, Celestia. I like her as well. Celestia Luden... Huh? <laughs> Ludenberg. It is my name. But if you don't mind, I would be her if you called me Celeste. Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would rather... What rather you call me Celeste? She's polite. Pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say anything more about it. I guess the rumors are in the thread of right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Latia clothes, everything about her is wrapped in veiling lives. They say she even entered a one underground gambling tournament. Earning the title of Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned me up, players. <laughs> Taking the life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all the ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of. that something. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. 
This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull eye baboons. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's true. I think someone said that about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, you see... Uh, um... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same thing is true for all of us. Wait, seriously? I mean, seriously? <laughs> Why did I just... I repeated what he said. Just after we got in... Got into the main hall, we lost cautiousness. And we came to... When we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? That's just weird. That every one of us would just knocked out like that? Piece of shit! Exactly! That's we're all freaking out! <clears throat> that's why, that's the only thing. We saw where all the windows and classes and the hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of metal plates! What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff is missing. Even my cell phone. Um... Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA everywhere either. <clears throat> and then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? Well, that doesn't mean anything when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's doing there? Oh, we got cut up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something. Is it? Like... like what? A kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off or we're actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all part of the school orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure of it. So I'm just going to take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you think you wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Um, well, if that's what it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was way too late last night, so I could use a little shut up. I feel everyone's tension of evaporating. But then it began. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing. Mic check one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of the accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! <laughs> right now! <laughs> Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. I don't think I could do his voice. That's the could be a problem. I love doing uh, Malakuma's voice, but I can't do it. Huh? The hell was that just right just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you excuse me. Hey! Hey, where are you gonna take off just like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? All right, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh? Uh... Damn, I was totally looking forward for that nap too. Why do they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Wait for me. I want to go with you. <laughs> that is that then. I feel see you on there. Anyway. Not that anyone cares, but I I'm going to. I went took off to the gym, but I was frozen there where I stood. An uneasy feel I had before. I couldn't get out of my mind. It looked like I was just—I wasn't the only one. Uh, um. This, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However. Maybe, but just standing put wouldn't be safe. Besides, aren't you going to just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push, push ahead. Push. I, I guess she's right. But still, I kind of, no, really nervous. I, re we don't have much of a choice, so we have to go. They said have to go to the gym, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. All yes. All of it, yes. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. What the hell kind of game are they playing? <laughs> what the hell? Is this some kind of bad joke? 
Afraid not. Afraid not. I didn't, I didn't mean to talk to you again. This is bad. What was that announcement? It was like totally creepy. Uh, um, something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me. Listen. I know how you feel, but we all just do check it out, right? Huh. True. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. We just said the same thing, but just said it differently. Well... Are you okay? Is anyone okay? I think we're going. We're leaving the area. Alright. Let's go. Turn off head bobbing. That'll probably make people sick, and I'd rather not deal with it. Hey, come on! God, I had no idea this whole Peak Academy place was as tall as gonna be such a pain in my balls. It really ain't that much different from time I'd spent in Juvie. Hell, this was even worse. Uh, um... And why is everyone here? Anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. This isn't, like, seriously not good. Uh, they're just trying to spook us. They'll take those more to place down later, I'm sure of it. Huh. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing better, nothing gained. <sighs> Shit. Well, I am scared of nothing. Let's get this over with. Hey, damn it. Who is whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Fucking stop! No run! Well, then, I shall too go. <laughs> Not reading that. <laughs> okay. Tap the tutorial, tap keep to observe the room you're in. Da ba 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 ba. For whatever reason, she's the only one that is the same time. This is bad. I'm totally getting the bad vibe right now. Um. Where are the other students? Why are the only ones here? I guess they went there, stupid. A display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who got here in the ultimate, right? It's probably just a tiny fraction of reward, the rewards. This school has a lot of TVs. Could have just been waiting. Uh, weird podcast, could they? Who knows? Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't need to actually. Go there. And that was a fantasy. Plus, we're being watched every second. I don't like it. Alright, let's go. <sighs> Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! See? Told ya! It's a totally normal entrance ceremony stuff! Carol was right. But in a way, it's emphasized on completely not normal all of us were. Howdy, hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! There we go. Huh? Uh, teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am... Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! It was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Right before my eyes was... 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 was utterly uncomprehensible. Nice to meet you all! Such a bright voice, you can't be attitude but completely out of place. All that anxiety I've been carrying with me suddenly transformed to outright fear. Say what? <laughs> what? A teddy bear can talk? Oh, calm down. There's a speaker inside it. Hey. I told come you already. On I'm not a teddy bear. Headmaster. Oh, I'm Manakuma, and I'm your headmaster. Say what? What? He moved. <sighs> Seriously, yeah. man, calm down. I was just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep. You 
deeper than the minor out of trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can recreate it or even comprehend it. Bear it! Ah, but don't make me say stuff that would destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that! Well... Bear that? Really, you are... unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on, we must really hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, okay, so. Huh. He has abandoned the gag. Good morning. Everyone, stand his attention and bow. And good morning. You hear me? Good morning. What's your problem? You don't have to say it back. Now then. Now then. Let's commence with the most unworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk about let's talk a bit about your school life here. What will be like? Ah, no more mistake. You are a few students, so full potential, represent of the hope of the world, to protect splendid hope. Ta-da! You will all live to be alive together solely with the confines of this school. Everyone will live harmony together, adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. And now then, regarding the end day of the real life. Too bad. There isn't one. In other words, you'll be here until the day you die. That's such a school life you've been assigned. <laughs> what? What did you just say? Until we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so we won't lack all the common conveniences. Uh, hold on a second. Um, that's the least of our worries right now. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing us, sorry. It's true. I'm not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that, you could be 100% sure. Uh-huh. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. I can tell my voice is dying. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about the dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So those metal plates over the school. They're here to keep us trapped in here? Phew! That's exactly what they're here for. No matter how much you may yell, scream, for help, help will not come. So all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whoever is behind it all. This is a really bad joke. Yeah, Damn you! Cut the shit out! This ain't funny anymore. He keeps saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you'll taught your doubt you're a neighbor. Well, you have plenty of time to find out whether or not I say it's true. And when that comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to li live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided your own free will to attend Home Sweet Academy, didn't you? And now before the entrance service is even finished, you've already decided you wanted to leave? Hey, um... um... But, you know, I guess I did forget one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. <laughs> really? Actually... As Headmaster, I've printed a special clause for you, for those who like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now then. Now, uh, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on communal lifestyle. As if, as, and if someone would interrupt that harmony, they were alone and be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the ultimate graduation class. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> Well, you know, if one person were to murder another... Murder? Yes, indeed! Stabbing, struggling, budging, crushing, hacking, drowning, and eating... How do you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it up to achieve the best outcome the worst way possible. The chill shut down my spine. I must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beat the heck!
like a human catch in a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are hope for the world. But you know, taking that hope and seeing it murder, get murder creates a dark and shadow of despair. Extreme! And I just find it so darn exciting. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is... it's... Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure that's necessary somewhere if you need it. I love that. What are you saying? We all know what it means. This is not the problem. Why do you have to kill each other? Say what? Please, stop playing with me though when you're nonsense. Just get us home already. Blabbering. Blabbering, blabbering. What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. <laughs> you guys don't get it, do you? Let us go! Let us go! We keep saying the same thing over and over and over and over! Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world! Got it? Yahoo! You can kill as much as you want to kill! So go ahead, go to kill 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 spree! <sighs> Alright, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Hmm? Huh? You know, you got us, okay? You just got the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, yeah, right? Because, I mean, you know, this all comes from trick and all, right? So, uh, like... Dude, dude shit. shut the hell up and get out of my way! Stopping here on the side, Mondo placed himself in front of the Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead! Listen up, asshole! This shit's gone way too far! What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What, you mean like your hair? You son of a bitch! Fuck! Mondo roared out, and then the sudden boom! It was the sound of floorboards as he kicked and launched himself into the air, real anime style. He flew into Monokuma, fast as straight as a bullet. I locked him in his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it! What? No smart ass comeback this time? Piece of shit! Stop the goddamn beam and say something! Watch out! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if it was a curiosity stunned into silence or what, but without a word, he does it told. He th threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did. Uh, what the hell? What the? That sure as shit wasn't a joke. You blew the hell up! It was a painful rain in my ears. I could have smelled gunpowder. Especially, it might be happening all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's real life? I've never seen anything like that. But, but you know, this means teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you I'm not a teddy bear! I'm Manakuma! <laughs> what? There's another one? <laughs> you Damn son you. of a bitch! You seriously trying to kill me just now! Of course! Well, yes, I was a serious to try and try to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I like you off the warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get out for just a little swat in the butt. This is bad. Hey, so does this mean like there's a bunch of more of you around somewhere? Yep. My has been placed all around the school, yes. Plus stuff we got surveillance cameras installed everywhere. My voice is dying. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you know I'll... You will just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again! That's not even a punishment. That's just wrong! Well, now then, lastly, to commemorate your joint entry into our school, I have a little something for you. Ta da! This is our official student handbook! Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital. So naturally, we call it the e handbook. <clears throat> yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to to a healthy school life. So don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. 
Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. What? Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It'll keep on ticking. And thanks to the Space Age design, the book has the impact force up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all the school regulations, so make sure you read through them thoroughly. You guys. Oh. You're hearing me say that's a lot. But any violation of school regulation will not be tolerated. Sing! Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed! The same applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishment in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our edges of me to a close. Bye bye! Please join your up the dream, dreary school life, and I. And see you! With that, he was gone. He was all in a state of shock. <laughs> so, guys, how would you define what, just what we just experienced? What the crap? How? I. I don't understand any of this. Hmm? We have to huh? live here forever? Kill? <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we just need to calm down. First, let's take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Kumi said, they essentially have two choices. Choose choice number one is to each stay here, live in a communal life together until we all until we die. The other choice is Indeed. If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's But killing someone that's what? We are but no way to nowhere stuff into place! Place meant to look like a school! And now we're supposed to kill each other? And this is no! It's just who it is! Ridiculous! A lie! A lie it is what it is! All the ridiculous things we just heard, this all has to be fake! Hm. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So, in other words... Is there anyone here who says to consider it at all? This. To that, nobody had a response. Keep quiet myself. I look around at the others. They all started staring at one another, trying to gauge into each other's thoughts. I can almost taste the hostility. And that's when they hit me. I realized the true terror hidden under the rules when the crew was light out. I must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words that planted bite vicious thoughts deeper than each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody gonna betray us? That's how our school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise hope so high, it's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. And that's the end of the prologue. Whew! Hi, Epsion. Welcome. I'm just about to take a break. Okay, you can shut up. Skull Crest present. Awesome. <laughs> Got a nice little present. Okay, okay, you can you can shut up for a second. Okay. I will be right back. My voice is die. I think I think a good five minute break should be good. Right? Right. I'll be right back. <laughs> 